focus on the breath in a way that feels refreshing. Because the breath, after all, is the force of life. Without it, we'd be dead. And it's the quality of the breath that has a huge impact on the quality of our sensations in the body and the, our feeling about being here in the present moment. To so try to find a refreshing breath. On a hot day like this, you want something that's cooling. If it gets cold again, you'll want a breath that's warm. Just hold those perceptions in mind, and if you have any sense of, yes, there is some coolness here, focus on that. If you're looking for some warmth, then focus on the warmth. In other words, you have the choice of how you're going to breathe now and of the various potentials you have here in the body. You have the choice of which ones you want to amplify, which ones you want to bring to the fore. There's a potential for pain here. There's all kinds of potentials in the mind for all kinds of things. And as the Buddha said, the mind is the most changeable thing there is, and it's so quick to change that even he couldn't think of a good analogy for it. But we can take that quality and turn it to our advantage. If the mind is in a bad mood, you can turn it around. If you're focusing on a pain or you're focusing on something that's unpleasant, you can turn that around too. Look for the pleasant side. Look for the side that gives strength to the mind, that gives refreshment to the mind. Look at your whole experience of the body as a kind of karma. It's not a dead object here. It's moving. Things inside the body are moving. Things inside the mind are moving. You want to corral them in the right direction. Focus on the things that would be helpful, that will enable you to develop more skillful qualities now and down on the line. And let go of the things that are not. We're making these choices all the time. The mind isn't static, the body isn't static. So take advantage of the fact that you can make the choice where you want to focus, what you want to do with what you focus on, and develop some skill around that. That way you shape this conglomerate of body and mind in the right direction. Give it the shape you want, give it a shape that's useful for developing even more and more skillful qualities. The choice is yours. <laughs>